Hey Water Energies and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you in terms of love, romance and matters of the heart. This is going to be a general tarot reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So this tarot reading is intended for all water energies, that's your Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising, and of course those cross-watching as well. We'll give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming in for you guys. Um, for those of you that may be interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, so what do we have for you? Just barely fit them on the screen. Okay. Alright, with the Six of Swords here, some of you I feel like... Some of you have left a, cert, uh, a certain energy or a certain situation behind purely because I can see that it was emotionally depleting you of your energy. You were reluctant to let this person go is what I'm seeing. Okay, So some of you, I feel like it's gotten to the point where, and I feel like you've tried, you've tried letting this energy go many times before, but I feel like you're at a point where... You feel like you can no longer do this, okay? You've given them the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes you've invested probably more than they deserved when it comes to this connection. And for a lot of you, I feel like you're finally going to reach a point where you're ready to you're ready to um, leave this person behind. It's not because you stopped loving them. It's not because you don't care. It's not because you're no longer romantically interested in them. Actually, there's still feelings there. I can see that there is still an emotional thread that connects the two of you together. However, for you, water energies, it's gotten to the point where you've completely exhausted yourself. You've poured so much from your chalice that it's left you dry. So you're finally at a point where you feel like you've done all you could. You're backed into a corner and you're ready to let this let this person, let this energy go. A funny thing happens when you stop caring about people or when you stop caring or investing too much of your energy into a certain situation you let go and there's like a freedom and a liberation that comes with it and um, suddenly that very person or that very situation starts looking very different from you and here's what's going to happen for a lot of you guys the person that you finally let go the person that you finally are ready to move on from i feel like is going to come back um and it's funny just when you've moved on just when you you know reached a happy place just when you feel like you're finally ready to leave a chapter behind, this person pops back into your life. It's almost, almost as if they've sensed that, you know, you're all good on your own. You're all good without them. And all of a sudden they decide to come back and complicate things once again. So for a lot of you, I do see that a situation with a romantic energy that you thought was done and dusted, you thought was over, I feel like there's a part two. It's funny, guys, because to me, I, the energies here are indicating that this is someone whom you keep circling back to this person, okay? And I feel like this person has probably taken a, a lot more away from your happiness and have actually contributed to your happiness. But there's something here that I feel like, you guys, you're not done with each other, not yet. So even when you think, you know... Um, you've got nothing left in you to give to this person, even when you think you guys have tried all that you can. It's almost like the universe is saying, you're not done yet. It's almost like the universe is saying, um, you know, you've still got something in the tank left to give. So I do, um, this person reconnecting with you, this person reaching out to you, um, I do see that this is going to lead to a new beginning for a lot of you. Because I feel like with death, this connection undergoes a transformation of some sort. Um, it's an energy that I feel like becomes renewed. And I feel like it's a past energy that comes back into your life. 
but this past energy feels new to me guys i feel like for whatever reason you guys didn't work out for whatever reason you guys you know you've um fallen apart or you've taken a break from one another in that meantime while you were busy doing you that person was busy working on themselves and this is why they come back it feels fresh to me it feels renewed and for a lot of you i do feel like there's a past energy who's coming back as an entirely new energy into your life a romantic connection that you thought had faded or had dwindled out or you you know, you thought that you no longer could give it any more of your um, love and attention. It comes back renewed here. Now, be careful with the Nine of Swords energy. For a lot of you, I feel like it's going to throw you back into this emotional state where it's like a frenzied, frantic kind of energy. Energy. A lot of you, I feel like you have. You've invest, invested so much of your emotional energy into this person. In fact, you've probably overapplied and overextended yourself when it comes to this energy. So... If you want things to be different a little bit this time around, I do advise you for you to take a step back, okay? Because I do feel like your person he needs to compensate for their lack of love or attention that they've given you in the past. So I feel like you need to take a step back so your person can really step up here, okay? Do not fall back. I mean, don't give them their power where, you, where you're, you know, you spend endless night and days just thinking about them don't let them consume you like they did once before you know don't constantly feel like you always have to be you know thinking about them don't like i get it it feels like in a very addictive um or obsessive kind of energy but don't let it get to that point because i feel like when you're in that kind of energy this is when things do not work out for you so let it happen you know naturally okay if it's meant to work out, it will. And it doesn't mean that you have to work so hard to make it happen. It'll just happen fluidly, guys, here. Seven of Pentacles, I do feel like there's something here that you've put in a lot of work and energy. And I do feel like it's this romantic energy and this romantic connection here. It finally starts paying off. So you feel like all the love and all the attention and you know all that energy that you've given to this person, you feel like it's gone unnoticed. It hasn't. I do feel like this person loves... Um, they love the attention in particular. They love your attention and they love the energy that you give them. So I finally see them um, like standing up straight and taking notice. Okay, taking notice of um, everything you've done for them and just how you were there. You were always there even though other people had fleed. So I feel like finally something starts paying off for you. So, you know, your kindness, that beautiful nature of yours, that generosity and all that effort you thought in, that all the effort that you've been putting in that you thought was, you know, going unnoticed or you thought was all for nothing. Finally, guys, it starts paying off and I'm really excited for you here. Uh, you've got the hermit energy as well there's going to be a point here i feel like in the very near future where you're gonna have to really take some time out here when it comes to a romantic connection because or romantic energy because what i'm seeing for you is there's something here that's starting anew for you okay for a lot of you i feel like something that you've been manifesting here with the magician's energy something that you've been wanting whether it's like a romantic person whether it's like a relationship something that you've been trying so hard to manifest and trust me for a lot of you i feel like this is years for quite some time you've put so much work you've bent over backwards for this person or this very thing it finally comes to your it finally comes to fruition okay it finally starts manifesting for you in fact because the universe made you wait that little bit longer and like i've mentioned for some of you this has taken years and yes it's taken an emotional and a physical toil like a physical toll on you it starts manifesting but here's the thing i feel like you get so much more than what you initially asked for. For those of you, there's a romantic energy here, strong water energy is coming up. Uh, fellow Piscean, a Cancer, strong Cancer, and a Scorpio is coming up. Some of you, I feel like I'm also getting strong air energy, a strong Gemini, a Libra, and of course an Aquarius. Someone that you've been wanting, I feel like, finally shows up in your life. But here's the thing I also see someone else showing up. Could be a past energy or could be someone new and i see you're at a point where you have options okay you have options you have choices you get to decide whom it is that you want and what type of relationship or what type of a connection you want with who here so all of a sudden i feel like it gets complicated because for a lot of you you've had this drought where 
you know, you weren't able to meet anyone suitable, you weren't able to meet a suitable match, you wanted someone but that person was unavailable, you've done some chasing, that person has done some running, and all of a sudden you stop because you think, oh okay, oh, you know, this is just, it's too exhausting for me, I'm done, I've got no fuel left in the tank, and then you stop and then you surrender. Okay, you surrender and you make peace with where you are and, you know, you make peace with where it is that you're going from where you are and then a funny thing happens. Everything that you worked so, so hard for because you've stopped trying and you just surrendered, you know, your energies to the universe, everything finally starts showing up in your life and then some. So for a lot of you, it's going to get to a point where it's going to be a bit too much because all of a sudden you've got options, okay? You've got people coming in and out of your life, you're going to have this person who wants a relationship with you, this person who wants to pursue something with you, you're going to have, you know, um, career options, you're just going to have um, potential for new romantic connections, all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you'll go from a place where you've had too little to too much. That's going to be a lot for some of you, okay, that's a lot to take in. This is why the Hermit here is asking for you to take some time out and think about what is it that you truly want, not only in the present moment, but in the long term, and who can sort of, you know, align you with that. So for some of you, it is going to be a bit much. It's like an overwhelming type of energy. Again, you're going from working so hard to try and manifest this person or this situation or this thing for yourself to then having so much of what you want to manifest in your life and even more. So get ready. It is going to be exciting. Uh, it's going to be... There's so much energy, okay? There's just so much, like a frantic energy as well, because there's everything that's going to happen all at once. And I feel like what's really going to help you sort of steal everything that's going on around you is you just collecting and gathering your thoughts, okay? Just take some time out for yourself and make sure the very things that are happening for you are in alignment with where it is that you want to go. Because a lot of you, you're having new beginnings. This, these new beginnings are showing up in love and romance, okay? New relationships. Some of you are going to be um, entering a relationship, a long-term relationship with someone in the very near future. For others of you, this is new beginnings showing up in career, and some of you have, I feel like you've long harbored a dream, okay, there's like a passion or a talent or there's something here that you've really wanted and again you've honed, on, you've honed in on this and you've been working at this. It finally starts showing up in your life. Um, a lot of things will start showing up in your life. A lot of things that you've been manifesting are going to start popping up like mushrooms for you and that is so exciting guys. Um, the Magician... Again, you know, all of these manifestations are finally coming to fruition. And I feel like the magician here is a reminder that you essentially are manifesting and creating the reality that you want. Okay? Sometimes we want certain people or we want certain things and they don't always show up right away. They may show up later or they don't necessarily show up at all or something else shows up in place of it. Understand that, you know, this is because that thing you may want may not be for your may not serve in your best interest, okay? And something else, something even bigger and better might show up instead of it. So I feel like the magician here is just a reminder, what's your thoughts, you know, what you put out there, the vibrations, because they come back to you tenfold, okay? And everything, I, and I again, I'm repeating myself, but I feel like this is really exciting because whatever it is that you've been wanting and you've been desiring, and this is such a desirous energy behind this person or behind this thing, you finally get it. And I feel like it's long deserved because for so long you've been trying to make things happen for other people that you finally get yours here. And that's very exciting. There's someone here who's coming in towards you, and this is an energy who feels like, this person feels like they had a missed chance or a missed opportunity with you, and this person comes back, it's, it's like they finally start seeing you doing good it's like you're doing good without them you're doing good on your own it's like you've got this momentum going and it's funny because you're at a you're at a place where everything is working out for you and even if it doesn't I feel like you make it so and when people start seeing you know that you're doing good without them and people start seeing that you don't need them uh it makes you that much more attractive. So you'll notice how past lovers and past energies and just past connections and even business connection guys will start coming out of the woodworks. Honestly, it's because that vibration, you know, that vibrational frequency, they're responding to that. The three of wands, I'm getting something very exciting here for a lot of you. I feel like there's a lot of 
positive, exciting developments in the future for you, especially in terms of love, romance, and career ambitions. For some of you, I am seeing travel here. So it could be physical travel. Some of you are relocating to a new um, home. Uh, a new, I'm seeing new city, state, or even country. You'll be doing some traveling. For others, I feel like this is more travel on a spiritual plane. I'm seeing new cycles and new beginnings for you. Uh, but I feel like for a lot of you, you've been having you've been having it tough lately, and I know that you've been having a lot of endings. You've been having periods where you feel like you're really stuck and you're just not sure what to do or where to go from here. You have to realize that what's coming for you is so much better than what you have going right now. So take comfort in the thought that amazing, exciting things are happening for you, even as you speak, even as you sit here and listen to this reading, okay? They're within arm's reach, so don't give up now. You've come too far, guys. And the Seven of Wands, I feel like it's just a reminder here to lower your resistance okay some of you are trying to resist something that is meant for you okay whether it's an ending whether it's a romantic energy whether it's uh you know someone coming back into your life whether it's changes uh some of you i feel like you need to the message is you need to take the path of least resistance especially with the magician's energy here and that way you can start manifesting things a lot quicker in your life. So some of you, you want that person. I can feel like there's an energy you're very fixated on, a past energy, someone whom you've connected with and you were robbed of the opportunity to get to know this person. So what I'm seeing for you is this person can show up and manifest a lot quicker into your life if you just take the path of least resistance, okay? Just allow it to be. Allow them to flow into your life instead of trying to, you know... Um, twist their arm into submission and get them to enter your life here. So take the path of least resistance and you'll notice things will start manifesting a lot quicker for you. All right, my lovelies, these are your messages. I just want to thank you all for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.